Allah Ta'ala said in the Quran, Kullu nafsin dha'iqatul mawt. Every soul shall taste death. No exception, brothers and sisters. It is one of, it is one of the few constants in life. Death is constant. It has happened in the past. It is happening now. And it's gonna happen in the future. Alam tara ila alladheena kharaju min diyarihim hadar al maut. Do you not know of the people who fled their cities out of fear of death? فَقَالَ لَهُمُ اللَّهُ مُوتُوا So Allah Ta'ala brought death to them. ثُمَّ أَحْيَاهُمْ And then He revived them. This is a story that was mentioned in the Qur'an. That there was a group of people. They were living in a village. And there was a ta'oon. There was an epidemic, an illness, a sickness that spread in this city. So what do they think? They thought that if they left their city, that they will be protected, that they would not become sick and that they would not die. But if Allah Ta'ala wills for you to die, whether you are in that city or whether you are somewhere else, death is going to come to you. So on their way, when they were leaving, on their path, what happened? Allah Ta'ala brought death to them all at once. And then there was a prophet, Prophet Hizqil, one of the great prophets. May Allah Ta'ala raise his rank. He made dua and Allah Ta'ala accepted his dua and he revived those people. Some scholars of Islam mentioned that this story is in reference to a group of people from Bani Israel. A group of people and they were called to fight for the jihad. And they did not want to die, they feared death. They did not want to fight. They thought that if we fight we're gonna die and we don't want to die so let's leave. So they did not support Islam at that time and they tried to run away from it. They tried to flee. So Allah Ta'ala made them die on their way, escaping. Whether you are in the battlefield or where you are at home, there is nothing that's going to pre prevent death. Nothing that's going to prevent death. قُلْ إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تَفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ Say verily in verily the death that you fear that you try to run away from فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ It will surely meet you. It will surely meet you. There is no hiding. You tried to run but you cannot hide from it. There is a very famous story that happened to Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam. Angel Azrael used to come visit Prophet Sulaiman. He used to visit him. One time he came to Prophet Sulaiman and he saw from his company that there was a man, an angel Azrael, the angel of death, looked at this man and he stared at him and then he left. This man got scared. He got scared. So he went to Prophet Sulaiman and he said, Ya Nabi Allah, O Prophet of Allah, order your wind to take me very far away. Order your wind to take me very far away to India. And Prophet Sulaiman salam agreed. And he ordered his wind to take him to India. And when Angel Israel came back, Prophet Sulaiman asked him, To this man in, in my company, why were you looking at him? Why were you staring at him? And he replied, This man that I was looking at, I was ordered to take his soul in India. And here he is in Sham, in the lands of Sham. And I'm surprised. I'm ordered to take his soul in India, but here he is in Sham. How is he going to get there? Subhanallah. So he went to India and he took his soul. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Tabarakallah. There is no escape, no hiding, nothing to protect us. No castle, no fortress, no bodyguard. If the angel of death is appointed and our time has come, there is no hiding, brothers and sisters. لا يستأخرون ساعة ولا يستقدمون If your appointed time of death has come, you cannot delay it and you cannot bring it forward. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Take advantage of your time. <laughs>